Thanks for choosing Animal Humane Society for your pet's veterinary care. Post-operative care is fairly simple, but if you notice complications that aren't addressed in this video, please call 763-489-7729. For written step-by-step -step instructions, please visit our website or refer to your discharge information. First and foremost, it is important to limit your pet's activity for 10 to 14 days after surgery to help ensure they heal properly. This means no running, jumping, climbing, or rough play. Incisions heal differently for different animal species and sizes. You may notice some slight irritation as your pet's incision heals, including scabbing, scarring, or a slight redness. Check the incision site daily for any oozing, swelling, or bleeding. This can be a sign of improper healing, irritation, or infection. If you notice your pet is not eating or drinking within two days after surgery, is vomiting, or is lethargic, call our staff at 763-489-7729. If you notice your pet is having trouble breathing or is experiencing respiratory distress, please seek immediate medical attention at an emergency animal hospital. Aside from limiting your pet's activity post-surgery, there are a few other things that you should know about your pet's post-surgical care. Keep an eye on the incision. There are no staples or sutures on the outside of your pet's incision unless you were told otherwise. We use surgical skin glue that is water dissolvable over the incision. Because of this, Refrain from bathing your pet with water for at least two weeks after the surgery. We recommend using pet wipes during this time instead. Make sure your pet does not lick or chew at their incision site. Chewing or licking at the incision can cause the incision to open and it significantly increases the chances of infection. We recommend purchasing a cone or inflatable collar to help protect your pet's incision. All animals spayed or neutered at AHS, except cat neuters, receive a small green tattoo on their belly. We do this so that in the event your pet is lost and brought to a shelter or rescue organization, staff can determine almost immediately that your pet has been sterilized. Feed your pet their normal diet, as new food can upset their stomach. For their first meal following surgery, you'll want to feed them about half their normal amount. You can resume their normal portion size the following day. Your pet should always have access to plenty of clean water. Depending on your pet's vaccine history, your pet may need to receive boosters of the vaccines they received during their visit. Typically, these boosters are provided three to four weeks after the initial injection. If your pet receives routine care at a different clinic, you will need to contact your regular veterinarian for the booster vaccinations. Your pet was under anesthesia and received pain medications during their surgery. Your pet was also sent home with additional pain medications. Please follow the instructions on the written medication label in your post-surgery information packet. Thank you again for choosing Animal Humane Society for your pet's care. If you have any questions or concerns about your pet's recovery, please call 763-489-7729.